Alan, so, Alan. Yeah, Alan De Cruz. Uh, Alan De Cruz. As I keep forgetting. Alan De Cruz is a sports editor of the Navin Times. Very soft-spoken man. We need to probably go away from the from the noise. And so for the first time I met Alan in all these years. Uh, Real pleasure to meet you, Alan. Same here, same here. I heard a lot about Sha. you. But what nice is the challenge you. of being a sports journalist in today's Goa? Uh, I've been in the sports industry for the last ten years. Uh, if you actually go to see the challenges, what I face is itself the activities what used to happen. Like uh, it is diluted. I mean, like uh, earlier, you could see a lot of events happening and a lot of mass participation. Not only in the terms of the athletes, I'm talking about the parents, the fans, and all these things. You mean it's gone down? It's gone down. Rest Why? Uh, COVID be, for one? No, it's even before COVID. Okay. You look at the. Uh, let's talk about football itself. Since that's my forte. I've been following it right from the time I've been playing football for the school yeah. level. So last 20 years. Uh, Which school, Vasco? I have travelled many schools like the Bihar, uh, St. Joseph, Educational Institute, Chandra, so there. So earlier we used to have like, uh, whenever the school team used to play, we used to have a tempo done by the sports uh, piece yeah. uh, and like the kids used to jump on it and go for the matches and all. I think it still happens in South now but not as much. But talking about the inter uh, the football at large, uh, what I'm saying is about the participation from the fans which has gone drastically down here. Yeah. Even at the I-League level or even at the ISL level, you can see that it's quite visible. It's not any like hidden thing anymore. I right? see. So, yeah. Amazing, no? What would be the factors? Too many, too many distractions, too many competition for our time, net, uh, not less really, outdoor activity? Not really. It's about the competitive environment now what we are living in. Uh, earlier, we could sustain with a normal rice curry and you know? all. Now it's more of competition. Everyone wants to earn. Yeah, yeah, uh, there's pressure the, on people. The pressure on people. Earlier one job was quite sufficient but now it's yeah. more of moonlighting. Every person you meet, he wants to do extra, he sees the neighbor having things. It's not only about uh, yeah. the athletes, it's about the fans also. They don't have time for this sport. Like earlier, it used to be a leisure. They used to come from work and the evening sport, the intervillage matches at, which used to begin at 4.30, 5 o'clock used to be a pay, you know, that used to be a point for yeah. everyone to come together, watch, interact and they had a gossip to speak about like today's tomorrow and every day they would, yeah. there would be a reason to come and meet. But now, if you ask them, they are like, no, I have time, no, I have this work, that work. So I think that could be a factor which no one has uh, looked upon rather than each authority blaming everyone. Did the government try to identify how Alan, you are a very unusual journalist. You've done not one, not two, but three MA, three masters. Uh, that is in? Uh, I've done my uh, MCOM to Goa University in 2015. Then I've done my post-graduation in journalism, mass communication through IGNO. And then completed my MBA wow. uh, through Goa University. That's amazing, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, you think uh, you think it would help if journalists studied more? Because we definitely, normally stop, definitely. yeah. Definitely. What I've seen is uh, a journalist today, like... Uh, for me, uh, everyone, uh, when I took charge, like when Dempos gave me the charge of sports editor, uh, it was quite unusual, such a young guy, like, I you see. Know, not even 30 and coming I as see. an editor and uh, having a team. Yeah. So it is quite unusual. For me, it was something that I worked, I knew I deserved it based on my work rate and what I was contributing all these years. And I believe, but then, you know, journalist behind, like who never thought of upgrading themselves, yeah. they found it like, no experience counts more than the knowledge. But in today's world, like uh, like we saw for today's debate at Goa uh, University, it's you are also PhD holder. No, I have uh, three degrees. We yeah. had another PhD lesson, and we did learn a lot yeah. sitting there for last three years. For me, it was not boring because I just put my head down. At least in three or four debates, I'm like I don't stand anywhere. Yeah. So, like they are debating was your there. debating was your thing in college. Yeah, debating was my thing in college. Uh, it also depends on who builds up what, no? I guess. But that's another debate. Uh, is social media, social media is a big challenge to the press today on the sports front. Not only sports, I Everywhere. think on all fronts. How, how do we face up to that challenge? I think it's uh, the people who had moved in on Jump the Ship at the earliest, I think they have moved ahead. The best example is in Goa. Once upon a time we had had yeah. Navin dominating the news industry. But now it's all about Prudent and in Goa. Not because of their news uh, digital channel, but it's a... Uh, Breaking uh, speed, speed. Speed and uh, the presence on the right platform where the audience is. See, the newspaper audience has, is going down. We're in the social uh, media. But there must be some way to beat it, no? Like long-form journalism or 
or you know this what they call slow journalism where uh, analysis and i don't we, know we will have to now what you are talking Three. is about like a just a general observation kind of yeah. uh, study no one has actually done a concrete study on data facts stats and all so be, i would feel if we do a genuine study we might actually get to know you know how to bridge the gap between the your favorite sport football why uh, i played uh, at what not i the reason it is my favorite is because i could not play so I for goa go, for goa not go even in the school day i, I was the last person on the bench like i wanted to i always dreamt of playing i made it in the team as a substitute goalkeeper football and goa have a certain charm whatever so, it is whatever yeah. it is whatever it is that eagerness to play one day in the first level that made me but i think contributing outside is as much of a challenge and it can be a bigger role also what what is your suggestion for football in goa if it is to move ahead i think we need to we need right people at helm we need right people the damage has been done things are going you know it's from uh, bad to worse will, yeah from bad to worse it will take time this uh, the scars are deep it will take time to heal but then uh, it's a long procedure i mean like after healing you can't get back uh, get back on the track you need some again training and to which sport along. has the best prospect in goa today uh, i think it's more of i what i'm seeing no no i mean for the state and uh, not for the individual player for the state to build state, a name uh, again chess chess is doing i mean like it's again the efforts of the parents what they we uh, we always acknowledge the sacrifices of the, uh, we always acknowledge the association what we don't look at is uh, the sacrifice of the parents now chess is a sport which is purely based on the support of the parents than any other factor like you look at leon mendonza his yeah. father stayed with him for one year i think without like in yeah during the pandemic in pandemic, hungary hungary, hungary. You know, his father stayed i mean like he gave up his job also on board totally, the ship totally so he has sacrificed his whole life i'm mean, like you can see the like, major portion like this yeah. accompanied his kid you cannot credit this to the government or this True. major credit goes to the family for supporting this so i think it's the mindset of the family like you know it's the environment where you are yeah. so that's the first place we need to develop because even if this culture sets up in all the sports i think there is no sport where we cannot do listen kulaso i i heard a lot about him like he has been success he has been playing isl one of the youngest goan uh, like uh, among the younger generation he is the only goan sustaining at that level that also is happening because of the uh, you know he is uh, what i can say attitude towards the sport he doesn't go for parties he doesn't I he has been dedicated towards he has been training off season you find him uh, working personally and all that thing. so again sacrifices and all that thing, which we don't see in today's world you ask you ask me which sport will bloom the area where the individuals have the support of the parents and work tirelessly that's who you need to identify that on that note fascinating thanks for those yeah, insights you. all the best yeah, real pleasure meeting yeah, you same.